Sometimes in statistics, when we are collecting data for two different populations and we're trying to compare those population means, sometimes it makes sense to pair data together. So for example, let's say we had population of men and a population of women and we were looking at husbands and wives. It would make sense to pair each husband and wife together. So when we do paired tests or intervals, we do them in a special way. And it's best to enter the data from one pairing into a list. And so we'll do that, stat, and edit to get to our list. And we'll want to clear out three of our lists. So highlight the name of the list, press clear and enter to remove all of the data from the list, and we'll do that for all three of our lists because we'll be using all three lists. And then the data that goes in L1, we'll go ahead and enter in L1. Let's suppose we have just one, two, three, four, and five. And then our data from our second sample will go in L2, and it will go on the same row that it's paired with. So if we have five, six, eight, nine, and 11, then one and five would be paired together, two and six would be paired together, three and eight, four and nine, and five and 11 would be the natural pairings. Once we've got our data entered into our list, we're going to want to go back to the main menu, and to do that, we press second and then quit. So now we're going to want to take the differences between L1 and L2 and store that in L3. To find the difference, we do second one for L1, and then minus, and then second two for L2, and then the STO key that's right above the on for store, and then we want to store that in L3, so second three, and then we press enter. That data gets stored into L3, so when we go back to stat and edit and we look at L3, all of that data is stored in L3. And now what we'll do is we'll do a plain t-test on L3 to see if that data is equal to zero. So if we're hypothesizing that these means are equal, then we want to stat and scroll till we get to test, and then look at the t-test, and we'll do the data option. Whenever we're using this paired method, we're gonna use the data that's in L3. And again, we're just using the one sample t-test. This t-test is just for the one sample. And we're treating our L3, the difference between the pairs, as, as if it's one sample. And in this case, whenever we do this, our mean is always gonna be zero because we're testing to see if the two populations are equal. And if that were true, then their differences would be zero. The list we'll use is L3. Our frequency is 1, and we're just going to see if they're not equal and calculate. And our p-value is enormously small, and so that tells us, yes, these are not equal. And we have very strong evidence that they are not equal. If we wanted to, with the same data, do an interval, a confidence interval, then we would start out the same way. We would do stat, edit, we would enter our data into L1, and we would enter our data into L2, and then we would get the data in L3 by doing second quit, and then L1 minus L2 store L3, and that would just store our data in L3 just like we did before. And this time we want to do the plain one sample T interval and we're gonna do it on our data of L3. So we will choose option eight and that's the plain T interval option. And we're gonna choose data and L3 is our list, our frequency is one and we will do a 99% confidence interval, so 0 
and then calculate. So we can be 99% confident that our difference between L1 and L2 is between negative 6.523 and negative 3.077.